Ein paar ahnungslose Touristen werden jetzt gleich eine Radtour durch Wien machen, um mehr über die Stadt zu erfahren. Und dann werden sie auf uns treffen, zwei falsche Tourguides, die ihnen nur Blödsinn erzählen werden. Das und zahlreiche in der Stadt versteckte Schauspieler. Absurde Requisiten. Als Touristen verkleidete Kameraleute. Und unzählige versteckte Kameras. Vienna Prank Tours. Los geht's. Ourselves first. We are Armin and Wolf, Franz and Josef, Udo and Jürgen, Thomas and Bernhard, and we love Austria and Vienna in particular. Uh, yes, we do. We actually got the idea of becoming tour guides right after we met at uh, Baumgartner Höhe. Maybe you've heard of it. It is kind of a special training center for special people. Okay, so this is the Vienna State Opera. It was built under Emperor Franz Joseph back in 1869. and. Oh. Oh cool, yeah, Viennese blood. Cool that you can see this too. Uh, it's a very traditional thing. We like. We can also recommend it to you as as tourists. Exactly. <laughs> so this is uh, Viennese blood. No need to be scared though. Only very small percentage of it is actual blood. We tend to mix it with different flavors and we sell it on the street. And the flavors are listed here. It's uh, traditional Austrian meals such as Kaiserschmarrn or Marienknödel, uh, Schnitzel. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, our I'll have one actually. <laughs> yeah, only a very small percentage of it. It's blood from, from Vienna. Vienna blood. Vienna yeah. blood. But also the aim was to preserve Viennese mentality, kind of. So if you want to try it. Thank you. Okay, this one. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so what, what Jürgen was explaining to you um, was that we especially like to drink Viennese blood when we don't really feel very Viennese anymore. For example, when we are suddenly uh, nice to people and actually mean it. Yeah, or if we, if we miss the tube without cursing and yelling all around. Exactly. If you look at the building that we're standing at now, this is a theater called Burgtheater. Um, but it's not just any theater besides the usual place that you can come to see here. Uh, this place is of great political importance because this, ladies and gentlemen, is where we select our mayor every, every couple of years. Exactly. You need to know that the word Burg in the name of the theater is short for Burger in German. So our method of selecting a new mayor every couple of years is a recurring burger eating contest taking place in this very building here. Now that's not a joke. In fact, this is a very ancient method and as far as I know, Vienna is the only place in Europe where it's still practiced. But even the Austrian-German word for Mayor, Burgermaster, literally translates to Master of Burgers. Now I'd like you to take a look at this picture here. This is our current Mayor, and he's been in office since 1994. And uh, I don't think it's hard to see why he is the um, uncontested Master of Burgers. Exactly. So, welcome to Vienna's youngest but major attraction, the Stephansdom, a cathedral. Um, although it looks rather old, it was built actually uh, less than 15 years ago. If you look at the wall on the right side of the entrance, you will find an engraving which says 05. And this engraving is an indication of the year of construction, 2005. Now, may I draw your attention to this cafe over there, the Cafe Oida. Um, people always tend to confuse it with Antonio Verdi's Aida, the opera, because the font on the logo is a bit misleading. People always think that it's an A in the beginning, but clearly this is an O. Yeah, what so. you need to know is that the word Oida is an important part of the Austrian-German language, as it is a very, well, I'd say it's a very formal expression of politeness, comparable to a Sir in English, for example. And we tend to use it in the beginning of sentences as a very formal and polite way of addressing someone. Exactly. Um, I mean, you can try it out to anyone. Uh, yes, Oida! Gescheißen, Oida! See, this is how we communicate. Beautiful. It works. Also, the opera makes use of a revolutionary type of heating system. Back in the days after the two wars, um, military troops were sent into the auditorium to heat up the building with the body heat hours before the actual performances. But nowadays, we're way more modern than that. We have a tube system which channels all the hot air from the parliament right into the state opera. And it's very effective and quite smart. It's really. smart, yeah. 
Take a look at these two buildings over here. If you look at them, they look very similar. In fact, they look quite the same, right? Well, this is a great example of copy-paste architecture, which came up in the mid, well, rather the late, late 19th century. So this is the second building is really nothing more than just a reserve. In case something happens to the proper building, take any, any kind of catastrophe, like a, uh, a burst water pipe, for example, or... A third invasion of the Turks, for example. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Who knows? Um, and between them, sitting in front, is Empress Maria Theresia. Right. right. Um, the statue itself is more of a miracle rather than a statue, I'd say at least. Uh, what you need to know is that it slowly rotates on its own axis, very slowly though, uh, so it's hardly noticeable. Um, but obviously, since it rotates, it doesn't always look in the same direction. So we're quite lucky it's looking directly at us at the moment. Right. And if, if you're even more lucky, you can see how it actually rotates. So I invite you to take a look at it very closely. If you have a look, I personally like to, to focus on her index finger on her right hand, if you can see that. And if you look very, very closely, give it a try. Oh, wait, now, now. Did you see it? Did anyone notice it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Concerning the name, uh, Stefan's Dome, it's named after the great Stefan Petzner, a politician whose party was, well, at least to a certain extent, relevant back in 2005. Uh, the name Stefan's Dome won't be permanent, though. We'll have parliamentary elections this year, and after the elections, it will probably be renamed to Sebastian's Dome, because the North Tower is very short. But we'll exactly. talk more about that in a bit. May we also very quickly draw your attention to this poster over there. Um, this is the new U5 tube, which is a construction project currently going on in the city. It's a, a new underground line which moves from the center of the city out to the outskirts in a gigantic spiral. Um, right. Obviously a huge undertaking. Right, we've seen a couple of things already. Moving on, as if to say what you have, this you have. This street over there in the back is called Kärntner Straße, or as our English fans would call it, Carinthia Street. So Carinthia Street is probably the most uh, famous shopping street in Austria because it's actually a huge charity project dedicated to Austria's most southern and uh, poorest county, Carinthia. So 50% of all earnings on this street are donated to Carinthia to help the region fight its horrendous debts and its xenophobia. And it's really a wonderful project. And if you're interested, we'd invite you to check it out after the tour and, and go shopping there. So now we're standing on Hero Square, turning to these two blocks over here. Right behind them is the Volksgarten, a very famous and popular Austrian nightclub. And uh, the, the, the location right in front of this big green lawn proved to be a bit problematic uh, because it was always full of comatose party people and it was always dirty and this did not help improve our cityscape. Um, that's, so why, that's why we built Now, them, uh, the left block serves as a kind of um, reception camp for all those, well, I'd say intoxicated people staggering out of the club. And the right uh, block is our, um, well, nicely put, our shag pad. Yeah. Yeah, question. Sorry? The building of uh, that one. That is a good question, actually. Right. Uh, um, I wait for this case. We we've got a very handy pocket guide <laughs> over here. Let's take wait. a look at that. Maybe one second, please. Yeah. So we're in the first district. That's chapter one. Yeah. Wait. Let, Shouldn't let, be too hard to. Sorry. One second. This is. Uh. This. No. No. no it could no. be. The roof looks similar on that one. Oh wait. This one. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Um, interesting. Uh, thank you for the question. This seems to be our main university over here. Um, what a joy for us to tell you that none of the things we told you were true. This isn't a real tour. So and we far. are not real tour guides. In fact, this isn't even Vienna. <laughs> no, of course it is Vienna. <laughs> but we've been filming these first 15 minutes with these two cameras over here. And with some hidden cameras over there, over there, and I think Yay! one's there as well. And we've but also prepared some vouchers for you as a compensation for these first 15 minutes lost to us. They're vouchers for a burger restaurant called Le Burger, and each and every one of you gets a single burger for free. Exactly. <laughs>